Hello viewers, me and team here, and welcome back to a Let's Play a Civilization 4. I know it's been a while, and I am going to continue on to game 9, but just how long has it been? Well, holy crap, we are down to two days remaining in the Challenger series. Yes, and so, with that, I'm going to have to do something about the fact that I fell down to 11th. Probably not, because uh, there's just not enough time left. However, to finish the uh, Challenger series should help me out. And if I can get uh, even two finishes, it'll bump me up into the top ten around the number nine spot. If I get decent submissions, maybe I'll even get a little higher than that. But we're looking at a top ten finish here, which isn't all that impressive because there aren't that many people competing. Well, then again, well, there are only going to be so many people who actually completed all ten games, so that's another way to look at it. Game nine it is! This is the current state of game nine. What is game nine? Religious on Emperor. So yes, we have to do another Apostolic Palace victory, and I was debating doing this at all, to be honest, because, uh, I mean, in terms of uh, casting it, because uh, it's just a rehash of game number 8, basically. I also did a religious victory on that one, and in my opinion, it is the most cheesy and least engaging of the victory conditions. Uh, but this is slightly different. You have Boreal uh, required, uh, quick game speed. We have to use Raging Barbarians, that will be somewhat offset by the quick game speed helping us out. And yes, we can't check no Barbarians. Or One City Challenge for some reason, I don't know why that matters. To be honest. Um, <laughs> it's not like you would be building any important National Wonders one way or another, so... I don't see it, that's kind of nonsense, but whatever. And our opponents, well, let's uh announce them as we do this. Okay, we are no longer on Prince, that's from something else. Uh, we cannot check, uh, okay, they got that, can't check, and restricted, cannot check. Um, oh, permanent alliances should be okay to leave on, not that it really is going to make a difference. Uh, lock modified assets is required, no huts or events, good. Um, vassals really doesn't make one uh, difference one way or another. So I think this is good. Now I just need to go to Boreal, and uh, quick game speed, this is Emperor, yes, real quick map size standard, thankfully. Yeah, okay, uh, Roosevelt is first, then Montezuma, uh, we're gonna have a joyous time here. Way to add some luck factor to this, guys. <laughs> Do we get into a big happy religion, or... Uh, do we get it out of war early on? We shall see. Well, it's not really luck to win the game or not. It's luck in determining uh, how quickly we win the game. So, that's just to be clear there. Uh, and certainly with the vast majority of starts you can see on a game like this, we are not going to have any difficulty completing the uh, challenge. It's just a question of time. Anyway, these are our required leaders. And yes, that's how I set up a game. And anything else I need to make sure, because I really don't want to play through this twice. Raging Barbarians is a bit tedious, and so can be the Apostolic Palace if you're used to winning with it, and are really tired of cheesing out victories, because for a while that's all I did on Sif Fanatics. I'm sure some of you, well, maybe a couple of you, remember that phase in my Sif Fanatics history. Anyway, um, let me know what you think of the sound quality. I'll probably just record this and upload it um, probably immediately after recording it, to be honest. I, um, I'm testing out sound as I'm doing the recording. And, you know, probably the second video will... Uh, it, it'll adjust for anything major. Maybe I'll do a slightly larger offset or whatever. But, um, for the most part, no biggie. And... Uh, I mean, for the most part, I'd like to hear your guys' feedback. What am I talking about? No biggie. Anyway, this is interesting. Um, we get a hunting start. I, I would rather get at least one commerce. Or, you know what? Maybe that isn't necessary, after all. But I don't have any production here, either. So I'd, I'm going to re-roll at least a few times, just looking for some production. And yeah, you can re-roll after you settle, which is nice. You can also reload your 4000 BC start and re-roll, which is also nice. Um, this isn't good at all. It doesn't have any uh, hunting resources, which I would really like to get. 
And uh, we're really not going to play this too differently from the other AP win, aside from the fact that we're going to need barb defenses early in the game. Maybe I should have crowded the map more, but I didn't want to complicate the depot picture more than necessary. I guess. And uh, this is certainly interesting. Uh, I'm just going to have to hope that this doesn't isolate me. But isolated starts in Voreal are very rare. So we'll just hope that that doesn't happen. We do have a body of water that will help against the Raging Barbarians. So we're going to open with a worker. Uh, we have hunting straight off. Uh, almost to be safe, we'll go archery immediately. And that will be the uh, first units we train after our uh, worker. Because we're really going to need them in a game like this. And especially if we're going to try to sneak out an oracle build. Which I am. I'm going to try to oracle theology. So... There you have it. Anyway, yeah, hopefully the audio quality on this is better than my glitched sound test upload. I am uh, once again trying out the audio settings that allow uh, me to record game sounds and uh, spoken words at the same time. Speaking of that, is the audio... I think this is okay. I'm not sure how loud it will be for you guys. That's something else I'd like to check after this. I mean, I've done preliminary checks and everything seems fine. But when it comes to actually doing the recording and going on for a longer period of time, things are just a little bit more dicey, and so that's why I really like to do these recordings. But I, I don't want to throw this out, especially since this is going to be a legit Hall of Fame attempt. So unless the quality is just terrible, I am going to upload it. But I do expect it to be significantly better. I've played around with my sound settings for Pulse Audio in Linux, so it shouldn't be anywhere near the issue it was previously. We'll just have to f wait and see, I guess. Um, anyway, the deer are the top priority to improve here, and then the gems. We don't have that many food resources, so I can probably afford to just stick archer, 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 archer. <laughs> and uh, that would, that'll would that about do it in the early goings until I can uh, go ahead and build the Apostolic Palace. Probably not going to be able to get the 800 uh, finishes that a lot of the other guys managed, sadly. But we'll see what happens, I guess. Who knows, maybe I'll get it, like, super lucky. Not holding my breath, though. So what do you need for theology? You need writing and mono. And when I say mono, I don't mean uh, getting really sick with something. Because the mono sucks, frankly. Okay, uh, yeah, lots of questionable land. Boreal is certainly an interesting map script. It's one of the more interesting ones that Hall of Fame allows, to be honest. As you got so much tundra and ice, and you have plains, and almost everything you do is going to be reliant on special resources. You know, maybe at biology you can make something happen, or maybe you can deliberately cause global warming, which I think actually upgrades the tundra into plains. So that's also something you could look at. It's kind of silly, because uh, desert fairy magic is not something of which I approve, typically. But if it's useful, maybe, maybe. I guess in this case it would be Plains Fairy Magic, which is a little bit better than the Desert Variety. Worker Steel! No, we're not going to wreck Diplo in this game. We are on quick speed, right? I did set that. Yeah, I should really know by tech times, so that was kind of a uh, weird person checking thing. Weird person checking, yeah, not neuroses or anything, I swear. I'm only crazy sometimes, when I believe I'm crazy, not the other times. Going for a sitting bull. And yeah, I apologize about the long hiatus too, because honestly, I like doing these videos a lot. And uh, missing out on doing that for so long uh, has been unfortunate for me as well, honestly. And I'd like to get back into it, and to the swing of things, and upload on a more consistent basis once again. And not only that, but... Uh, pretty much at the conclusion of the Challenger series, with so little time left, I do want to make sure that I get the uh, Challenger series done. But as soon as that's done with, I do have, I believe, a working running of the HD mod for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. So I will be continuing that, um, probably recording a chunk of them after this. And uh, other than Heroes 3, um, I've seen uh, Let's Play by HD Bailey of Final Fantasy Tactics. And that's a game I've heard much about from both friends, uh, and IRL friends, and otherwise. And it certainly seems like an interesting game. So I would like to do a Let's Play of that as well. 
Um, with, of course, a little bit of more of the unconventional tactics that we all know and hate or love, depending on the kind of player you are. <laughs> but expect some types of tactics that resemble something that you saw maybe in my Ogre Battle Let's Play, uh, or the Cheesing Run, or maybe uh, like my Pokemon uh, Cheesing Runs, those kinds of games. Alright, uh, looks like I'm going to be somewhat production limited here. So, uh, actually, no, I appear to be tech limited. That's, uh, rather surprising, but okay. We are tech limited. So I'll just go ahead and build Oracle to one turn to completion, and if it doesn't work, I'll go ahead and restart the game. But if it does work, then, uh, yippee skippy. Uh, certainly a gem start raises the odds of me getting a working Oracle outcome. And yeah, I, I got my butt kicked there by the Barbarian Bear. Now, the thing about Raging Barbarians is that uh, as soon as Human Barbs start spawning, the Barbarians are willing to enter your borders, and they will do it in force. That is why I got the more uh, typically unnecessary efforts of getting these uh, units into place immediately. Because <laughs> yeah, you'll watch, see? It's turn 32, it's not even 2000 BC, and they are up in my face. This is something you don't even see on Deity normally. It is uh, unique to uh, Raging Barbarian settings. But because I have a nice water border, you could also use the edge of the map or whatever, and because of my distribution here, full fortification and 50% defensive bonuses on all three of these tiles, uh, we're looking at um, huge, huge odds favoring. Uh, my archers, no matter where I am, pretty much, or where they attack me. And we'll just have to hope I don't get super unlucky early on and lose my city to a barbarian attack. And no, they don't even attack my city, they chose to attack there. And yeah, you look at the odds they're getting, oh yeah, we're getting like 2.7% odds uh, pretty much throughout, and as I win some battles, my odds will get better there. So that's worth pointing out as well. Now I don't... No, you know what I could use? is another worker. Yeah, um, I could probably, uh, slow build out. Like, maybe one, two, like, drop a city right here, maybe? It's kind of awkward. Maybe I'll put it here. Uh, that's a lot of food, and again, fairly well defended. I can put up a choke here that should keep the, um, barbarians out from that direction. But really, it's just messing around, because... I'm trying to fill in some space between myself and AI so I can spread my uh, religion a little bit more easily and get this game over with. The barbarians do slow this down quite a bit, to be honest. And yeah, the, the barbs are getting some lucky draws on me here. But yes, extra combat rounds from Drill. That adds an extra first strike just by itself because it's Drill 2. Which is nice. Drill 2 is excellent. And yeah, steady stream here. If this were Marathon, the uh, pressure would be unbelievable. And I I'm not kidding, it would just be insane how much pressure there would be on me. There's also been some debate on the forums lately as to whether or not starting on a wonder makes the AI less likely to uh, start it. And I guess there has been some uh, suggestions that if you don't have... Uh, what is it? If they don't have the technology yet, and you are starting on the Wonder, they might delay the uh, technology, but otherwise, uh, don't hold your breath, essentially. Maybe I should have taken a City Garrison there. Oh, Great Wall went. Yeah, anytime I hear a Wonder completion uh, sound, that makes me nervous. But, uh, let's go ahead and check out. No, they're not going to beat me to Oracle, and this is my, uh... Second attempt at this, I had to abandon my first attempts due to poor video quality, among other issues. And, uh, yeah, this isn't uh, turning out too badly at all. So, I think after monotheism... Yeah, we're gonna go monotheism, then the wheel... And, uh... Yeah, let's just, uh, get some standard stuff going here. Okay. And theology for 
a religion that I can use to build the AP. And as long as I don't hook up my uh, capital or trade network my capital with the AI too soon in the game, I shouldn't have to worry about religious spread. And actually, this is rather unusual on Boreal, but I have a river running into Mao, so there's a small chance I'll get auto spread into his city, which would uh, be kind of wonky. <laughs> to wind up having him start running Christianity and giving me AP problems. But I don't think so. Also, orking, or hitting theology with the oracle this early on makes it very unlikely that the AI is going to be building uh, Apostolic Palace anytime soon. Uh, pretty much because the AI, and I should really be uh, getting in position to build my roads, uh, pretty much because AI doesn't like to found text or go for text that found something once that thing has been discovered. So let's go ahead and road there, road there. So it's the same thing with liberalism, it's the same thing with music, it's the same thing even with texts like Code of Laws and Philosophy. If you beat the AI there, it really doesn't want to uh, do anything about it. Like, it really doesn't want to get that technology sooner. And I think I can afford here to uh, wait. I'll just go ahead and skip turn. <laughs> like how late that city is. Yeah. Because I don't really have any improvements to make. And if I wait a turn, I get an instant trade network upon settling the city. So that's, uh, that's fine. We're not in any hurry, truly, here. And I do not need donut, mm, donut. No, I don't need any border pop stuff here. So I'm just gonna build an archer right away. And why don't I need border pop stuff? Well, that's why I'll get a border pop from that. And uh, interestingly, I think I'll just drop a road here. I'm going to want to uh, sneak an archer out, and I'll probably build a couple more in my capital like that too. Because what I really want to do is uh, block that. Or maybe I'll just block that with a city. I don't know. It's all relative. <laughs> but yeah, I'm at least protecting my tile improvements currently. And that's quite an investment against the Raging Barbarians. As you can see, I'm already starting to get some major grief here. And yeah, now that there are roads... There's a good chance that the barbarians will troll me by uh, pillaging those. And can I make it back into the capital? The capital is much better defended, so... No, I'm not going to do any uh, canceling deals. Yeah, see? This is just problems. Could build a wall too, but... Not yet. Not yet. Um, better units would be really helpful too, so if you get and get axes early or chariots or anything like that, uh, consider it. The problem is you just get barbs entering your border so early that you really can't rely on that stuff. And oh geez, they are causing trouble. Certainly. But I should be okay against the barbarian warrior. He'll, he'll have pretty bad odds there. So, we'll have to see. Oh yeah, he's not even opting to attack. Instead, opting to uh, <laughs> pillage the road on the wheat. Not that that's uh, really a fun thing to endure anyway. I'll just go ahead and put uh, turn there. And good, China settling to my south. That greatly reduces the areas the barbs can approach. Hmm. Aztec's already plotting war, too. Uh, you are so fun, Monty. And I think what I'm going to do here is, I think it's time... Yeah, of course. Of course! You would do that. But at least this archer's at full health. And we are also going to organize religion. And uh, go ahead and build the Apostolic Palace now. I really don't want to take any chances. And oh geez, he's annoyed towards me. Well, I do have archers available to me, so whatever. 
and also walls. And it's quick game speed with high travel times. I do have open borders with everybody, so that's good. Probably my biggest threat is not him but China. You actually go ahead and heal. And again, I can't do anything over there, but I can uh, go ahead and build a pasture in that place. Um, pottery is useful, but... You know, we'll do it. We'll do it for the granary. But like I was saying, pottery is useful. There's certainly uh, nothing wrong with it, but you're not going to be building a lot of cottages. It's definitely more uh, benefited from the uh, granaries. You still need it too, and it's plus it's a prereq for some stuff, such as metal casting, and therefore anything that metal casting ultimately leads to, so you do need it eventually. Hi, Toku. He's going to be the guy who's a little bit problematic to get to, uh, to get the uh, religion into, because he will not open borders under normal circumstances, so we're going to need to kind of trick him into that somehow. Anyway, uh, I have two archers here. If I drop fort here I'll, and fortify, I'll have plus 100% defenses in that direction. Not a bad choke to hold on to. And I don't have to worry about any bypassing of my improvements whatsoever as long as I hold these areas. So in terms of barbarian defense in my northern lands, looking pretty good now. Go ahead and do that. Oh no, you know what? We'll just build a worker. Yeah, strictly speaking, I don't need to get any more technologies quickly. Yeah, so we get an archer so I can use that for defense. Go ahead and road up. Excellent. Yeah, look at that food you get from Tundra Wheat. Tundra is uh, still terrible though. I still recommend against working material amounts of Tundra. Okay, well this city is pretty close too, um, but is it any good? It's only got the one ton it's got a decent deer tile in it though. Hmm. And it's got riverside. But is that any use to me? I mean, it would it does help for some AP pop. I could take it uh maybe one north. No, I can't. And I can't settle here because of this city. So that city's a little bit uh annoying. To be honest. But whatever. We will get there all the same. Go improve the horse. Go improve that. And yeah, now I actually don't have to worry about these back lines as much. I can afford to uh, go ahead and push my units out. And the Raging Barbarians won't give me as much grief. <laughs> it, yeah, the Barbarians can be really annoying if you're not used to them. And uh, somewhat annoying even if you are. You really have to uh, play that carefully. And yeah, there we go. Mouse got that. I could uh, come out to the west a little bit too. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be really frustrating, I think. Uh, trying to get the missionaries to spread around. Okay, got a worker out. That's excellent. Uh, camp will be done this turn, so no point in moving on to that tile. I should go somewhere else instead. And it uh, looks like the whip's going to be my friend here, <laughs> considering. So I'll just go ahead and get that ready as well. Yeah, look at that. Look at that awesomeness. Go ahead and road and camp. I'm not really planning my micro at all. Uh, just another side announcement. I know I've mentioned it in a previous video, but it was during a glitch sound test video, and hopefully this is not the same. I am. I have joined a Realms Beyond Pit Boss game, Pit Boss Six, and I joined a Play by Email game, Play by Email Twenty Five. For the latter, I will be doing video updates on that thread from time to time, and I will be uploading them to this channel. The caveat there is you're going to have to become a subscriber to my thread there to see it. Is I don't want to public broadcast uh, stuff that people from opposing teams or opposing sides can see. Uh, I think the reasons for that should be fairly obvious. But I'm just saying, like I don't want to give away what I'm doing in that sense. And oh my god, they are really obnoxious. Look at this. 
I mean, this warrior is doing a run by on me. When he's had the option to attack this archer, he just won't take it. And he's going to go into my interior land here after uh, pushing out my archers and just cause me grief. He'll probably move on to this tile because it's pillageable. Now another thing you might think of is, well, just build Great Wall. The problem with Great Wall, and actually he didn't go on that tile. And yeah, those are really bad odds, so I'm not going to do that. The problem with Great Wall is that you can't really get it before you have to build Barbarian Defenses anyway. Plus it really cuts into the certainty of the Apostolic Palace. And those two things together I, make me really not want to go in that direction most of the time. And I guess just overflow into that. There's really not a lot else to do. And yeah, here I get some pretty good odds, so I'll take them. Especially since it's going to take the sky a few turns to reach me no matter what anyway. And yeah, I'm not over concerned with the technologies uh, either. Otherwise I wouldn't be researching ironworking, I guess. Although, well, I could always trade theology, but whatever. <laughs> Iron working's probably not a good call here. Five turns. I can get uh, Yeah, I can bring it down to four with a chop. Interesting here. My food is terrible, but I've actually stagnated at a fairly low population. But the commerce start was worth it, I think, just to get to the uh key wonder, the Oracle, sooner. Yeah, I like how stuff's not even coming this way. It probably evaluates the odds t as too bad to be willing to uh, make that approach. Temple of Artemis goes in a faraway land, but that's not too big of a deal. Once again, the only uh, <laughs> the only wonder we really care about is the AP now that we have Oracle. And since the other uh, since Alphabet's been researched, we'll just go ahead and research with that aesthetics. We don't appear to be happy capped. <laughs> Certainly. And okay, they're fighting the Americans. Now what I'm going to want to do here, after finishing um, Apostolic Palace, is get out of Christianity and uh, probably try to get Buddhism. Uh, specifically from the Americans would be awesome. Is They would like me for that, and so would everyone else. Then I can mass spread the religion to these guys. Uh, send one guy over to Toku, and one guy over to Monty, and we're good. Speaking of that, well, no, I'll just go ahead and build a worker for now. Hang on to the missionary, and yeah, I'll just leave this guy in prep for uh, city defense, I suppose. And yeah, you can go ahead and mine. And you know what, I think I will take an additional city. I don't see any harm in doing so. It's not going to slow down my tech rate materially or anything like that. No, I don't want to declare war on anybody or close borders with anybody because if I do that, it's going to get me into trouble uh, with ever getting them open again to spread the AP religion around. But we do have the AP religion, so I'm going to stop the video off here, uh, saving this at uh, 160 AD. And I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next part. Uh, I'll be uploading this as soon as I can. Hopefully it's got uh, something decent going on with it in terms of the audio quality. But either way, thumbs up if you liked the video, and I'll see you guys in the next part. The Mean Team, signing off.